hope you're having a great magical day where you are as I'm having a nice magical day where I am. Really quick, a heads up, next week is Thanksgiving week and I will not be posting any videos on Wednesday or Friday of next week as I will be enjoying family that's coming in uh, to town for Thanksgiving and I'm hosting and they're gonna be staying at the house and um, I'm just going to be spending time with uh, family and just enjoying fellowship next week with friends and family that are gonna be coming over for Thanksgiving. So no videos next week, but there will be a video this Friday, of course course. This is my recent haul that I did. I actually did it a couple of weeks back. I'm just now getting around to uh, doing a video on it, but I did a Yankee Candle shopping haul and I did a Tiavana shopping haul. I actually had to go back to Tiavana twice because on my first time out, they didn't have the teas I wanted. And then I went back the second time and they have they had it. So that's why I have two Tiavana um, bags, but they're right here and I love this time of year because I I like teas that um, have like I don't know what you call it like a fruit not a fruit but a food taste to it like caramel and cinnamon and peppermint I'm not so much of the floral kind of tea girl like you know um, lavender tea and I don't I'm not big on that I'm also not big on fruit teas like mango and strawberry and you know I'm more of the uh, caramel sea salt cinnamon peppermint chocolate truffle kind of girl so um, I went over to Tiavana and I got a couple of uh, loose leaf teas and I love to uh, if you want to know how I use these tea leaves, I actually put them in my uh, Breville. Hopefully I pronounced that right. But it is, uh, it steeps uh, tea leaves for you. So I picked that up a long time ago. Absolutely love it. But the first tea that I picked up, I picked up these two. And of course, this one is my favorite. And if you watch my channel long enough, then you know what my favorite this time of year Tiavana tea is. And it's the white chocolate peppermint, guys. And it is right there. And I love this tea. Last year, I had got sick and I was actually like video vlogging during that time. I think it was during my 12 days of Christmas that I did. And I drank this constantly because there's something about the peppermint when I put it up to my mouth. It just kind of like goes up in my nose. I don't want to say like Vicks because that sounds nasty, but the peppermint just like really opened up my sinuses and then the chocolate and it has like these little white chocolate bits in it. Oh my magical word. It's so good. I love it, love it, love it. So this one's like my favorite winter tea to drink and it only comes out during this time of year and then usually around january they put it at 50 percent off and then i head out and buy more of it the next one i got and it was actually on sale it was 50 percent off which was a good buy it's caramel truffle and i've never had caramel truffle before but it's right here and um, when i asked her if i could smell it because they usually open up the tins and then they go like this they wave the smell at you so you can smell it. She didn't even have to do that. The minute she opened up the tan, I could smell the chocolate truffle. And I'm like, so give me some tea. So I picked that one up. The next one that I picked up is another favorite of mine and it's pumpkin spice brulee. And it only comes out October, November. And I love just the, the pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, what else? Kind of like all spice that they put in there. I don't know what it is, but the tea is great. It's wonderful. It's delicious. And um, I usually will um, drink this tea with like something pumpkin, like maybe a piece of pumpkin bread or a little pumpkin cookie or something. But yes, pumpkin brulee is another favorite of mine. This one I got free and it is, I can't even pronounce this, Samurai Chai Mate. I hope I said that right. But uh, this one is another tea. Now, um, I think this one, don't quote me. I think this one, I can't remember. I think this one has a little bit of orange in it. And like I said, I'm not a big fruit girl on tea, but I will try maybe like an orange. But I think she said this one had an orange in it. I can't remember because I bought it a couple of weeks back but i got this one free because i bought so much so many ounces of tea so 
That's what I picked up at Tia Fauna. Put that back. Then uh, Dan and I, we went over to Yankee Candle. I didn't get too much from Yankee, but I did get some goodies and I'll share that with y'all. So there's my Yankee Candle bag. And I picked up a new wax melt and this one is called um, Aromatic Orange and Evergreen. And it's right here. And it's one of their new uh, smells for the season. And oh, I love it. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Mm, it smells so good and it's right there. And um, I'm looking forward to trying that. The other things that I picked up were just a couple of um, little wax. I use these as wax melts. I actually, when I, when this starts losing its smell, I actually just pop this out after it gets hard. I just pop it out. It comes right. It's already loose. See, they're so easy to come out. But I'll show you. See, they just come right out. And once this loses its smell, I will just throw this away. I won't save it. And then what I do is, is I take these little tarts okay and i use them as wax melts and i just put them in here and then i put it in my warmer but again i got that aromatic um orange and evergreen so i picked up two of those and then of course my all-time favorite again if you've watched my channel long enough then you know that my favorite is the sugar and spice right there and i picked up three of those this one is like my favorite yankee candle smell because it smells like a donut. That's why I like it. And I love donuts. I don't eat them too often, but when I do, look out, okay? So the next thing that I picked up was a candle, and I'm not sure which one this one is. I gotta look. This one is, oh, this one's a returning favorite, and it's Warm Apple Crisp, and it's right here. And look, guys, it's even got the old logo on it, and not the, you know, the new one where it's more, you know, short, longer rather than wider. But it just says, I don't know if y'all can see, but on there it says returning favorite. So this one smells so good. Mmm! It smells crisp and just apple-y. It makes me kind of think of apple cobbler, I guess you might say. The next thing that I picked up, and this one's a Christmas one, and I think it's that um, aromatic orange and evergreen. Yes. And like I said, it's, you know, new. And that's, that's the label I was talking about because this one is longer rather than wider. But this one is a new scent for 2017 for the holidays. Oh, I can't wait to light this. It smells so good. I wish y'all could smell it. It smells good. Okay. So that is all that I picked up from Tia Vana and Yankee Candle. I don't know if y'all have a favorite tea that y'all like to drink or if you have a favorite Yankee Candle for this time of year that uh, y'all, you know, like to light up or um, if you have like a, um, what was I going to say? If you like have a warmer let me know if y'all use these to, you know, put into your little tarts and um, use these to, you know, warm up your, your melts. Because the thing is too, guys, these don't last, at least for me, I don't think these last very long. And these are pricey, or at least I think they're pricey. So I try to find alternatives to, you know, to use. So I use like the tarts. And then when my Yankee candles get all the way down to the bottom, I kind of break them up and I turn them into melts also. I try to really utilize other resources for these little containers than always having to go out and buy these, you know, filled because it just gets kind of pricey. So, but yeah, there's a couple of ideas on how you could reuse these without having to buy a whole new one. So maybe that would help somebody. I don't know. But anyway, guys, I hope everybody has a very blessed Thanksgiving next week and um, that you enjoy friends and family and just fellowship with whoever you're spending Thanksgiving with. So I wish all of you a magical uh, Thanksgiving. So if you're not already a Life and Disney Musketeer, you can feel free to hit that little subscribe button down below. And to all my current Musketeers out there, hi guys. I hope everybody's doing well. And thank you to everyone who stopped by today and watched Life in Disney and take the time out to watch this video. So till next time, guys, y'all take care. Y'all have a magical day and a magical week. And I will see y'all later, Musketeers. Bye, guys.